right in here. You see those cells? I just think this is beautiful to look at. There's something about it. honey. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hell of shit Hi everybody, I'm Brent, this is Beekeeping in Paradise And today we're not in the bee yard at all We're in my man cave And we've got a special, special job today Today we are going to be cutting this into pieces. This is a uh, pure comb honey, foundationless. So that is a special treat and it needs to be handled with a special uh, amount of care. But, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through how we handle that and what we're going to be doing with it today. Okay. So for those of you who've seen my videos before, let me just say thank you. Thank you so much. I'm honored that you're back. I'm so pleased. I'm so happy. I am blessed that you are here. And I hope you're finding this entertaining. Uh, that was my original intent. If any of you have found this educational, that's truly by accident. Uh, but I am glad if you've learned anything, if you've picked up some tips, uh, that's fantastic. Please put a comment below, let me know. If you think that this channel so far has been entertaining, educational, or both. Just write the word entertaining, educational, or both. And uh, let me know how I'm doing. And if you don't, if you haven't taken the time to subscribe yet, I really appreciate it. I'm really trying to make this uh, uh, a fun place for all of us to start a community and to uh, be able to interact with one another. I, I really appreciate your feedback. And if you could subscribe, if you could keep coming back, I really appreciate it. So now let's get into this honeycomb and see what it's all about, because this is pretty neat. I have a spatula and this is going to be important because we're going to be putting these honeycomb pieces into just some uh, Rubbermaid tubs. And um, these are not the these are not the official honeycomb containers that you would want to use if you're going to be showing your honey. If you're taking it to a uh, county fair, if you're taking it to a Welsh honey show, uh, you do not want to use these. You need to find out what type of container that they require and you have to get those. I think a lot of them are absolutely clear clamshell uh, cases, but for me uh, to eat here at the house, and to give to friends, this is what I'm using. And they're approximately the same general dimensions, but uh, is what you would use for showing. But the, I think these are a little bit big. So anyway, like I said, I've got a I've got a nice smooth spatula. I have a serrated knife, and I have a cookie sheet that I've lined with uh, aluminum foil just to keep the cookie sheet clean. And I have a cooling rack. Again, these are not the specific instructions on how to cut this in order to get best of show. This is just how to cut this in order to get it into a container and off to your friends, okay? So what we have here, we've got a normal frame uh, this is a medium frame of honeycomb. So what we want to do, okay, I basically want to find out approximately how many of these I'm going to get. It looks like one, two, looks like th three of these containers across. Now, if I was doing this for chunk honey to put into jars, I would want to cut and then I would want to measure the mouth of my jars. And this is, say, a normal-ish normal pint-sized jar. 
and that's about two and a half inches across on the top. Um, yeah, about two and a half inches across. So you'd want to make your strips no more than a little uh, two and a quarter inches so that it would slide down there without tearing up the edges. But for this exercise, I'm going to start. Now, there are no wires in here. And uh, like I said, no foundation, no wires. I'm just cutting the comb off of the sides. And I've got this on the cooling rack in case there are any drips. It'll be a little bit easier to release than having it flat on the cookie sheet itself. I'm actually going to place my long griddle spatula underneath. Okay. And I'm going to go from this edge to approximately right here. Cutting as straight a line as possible. It's out. Okay. And I can hang that back in my super box. Now this is the reason you want to keep it on a rack. I don't know if you can see the uh, the honey is dripping. Where I opened up the capping and cut the wax, it is draining. Now if you were doing this for a show, you would want to leave this. Uh, without the spatula underneath um, overnight to let all those edge caps or uh, pardon me all those edge cells to let them drain but in this situation I, I don't mind if that honey ends up in the bottom of my container for a show you don't want the honey to be loose in the bottom of your container you'll get points off but for friends and family and for yourself this is fine to let that honey go into your to go into your container. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this container over, and that's gonna fit nicely. Okay. There we go. It's just that simple. Right in there. I only lost a only lost a little bit of honey. One thing I'm noticing for this exercise, I I left the side with uh, the fewer, I would say that the other side was prettier. If I was going to give this piece to a friend, I'd want to make sure that I flipped it over the other way. And I'll do that on the next one. I'll check both sides to see which one is prettiest and then I'll put the pretty side down. Okay, so this side is a bit prettier. So, I'll put my spatula down. The reason I put the spatula down first is so that I'm not trying to use my hands to pick up the, the comb. Because there's no foundation in this, there's absolutely nothing in here that is sturdy enough to use to pick it up. If it had a piece of uh, even thin surplus foundation in here, you'd be able to pick it up by that center rib and transport it into your container uh, without crushing it. But because I don't have that, it's extra, extra delicate and gentle. Or I have to be extra gentle with it because it's so delicate. Okay, so now I'm going to measure this again. There, two, about here. Tilt 
that up. I cut straight down. Straight across the bottom. The top of the spatula. back up. Okay, put it on top. Flip it over. And look at that. You see that? Almost no smeared honey on the top. The cells are not broken open. Anything that uh, drips from the edges is going to go into the bottom of the bowl. And that is a nice piece of honeycomb. And look at there. Not even, not even a tablespoon of total waste on there. That would, that's that's barely one and a half teaspoons of honey that we've lost. Okay, Shelby girl, mm. have you ever had, ever taken a big bite of comb honey before? No. No. Are you excited? Yeah. You want to? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a first for you, huh? I've been eating this stuff all my life. I love it. This is gonna be your first time. Let me cut you off a nice chunk, okay? Nice bite. Okay, show the camera your nice bite. Yeah, get it in real close. Yeah, is it juicy? Has it got a lot of honey in it? Yeah. Yeah, show the, the lenses over here. <laughs> on this side okay that's too close yeah. okay all right okay show us that big bite put the whole thing in there and bite it and suck all that honey juice honey juice out oh huh? and chew on that wax a little bit like gum and then kind of squish it into a ball mm. Mm. Like melts in your mouth almost. It melts in your mouth? Is it good? Yeah? You recommend people eat honeycomb? Yeah. Is it fun? Did you swallow it or are you um, kind of pushing it all together into a ball? Trying to. Yeah? I'm still sucking some honey out. Ooh, good. I'm going to have a bite too. Okay, here we go. There's my bite. It is it too stuck juicy. In your, can get stuck in your teeth. Be careful. Mm. Mm. Fresh from the beehive. Good. Mm. No jars, no extractors. This is how honey was supposed to be eaten. I like that. Are we going to finish this off or are we going to save some for mom? Save a little bit. Yeah. Save that part. That one has more honey. Okay. Tell them it was good. It was good. You need to buy it. Bye. Okay. So there we have it. Four pieces of beautiful, delicious comb honey. And uh, that's my tip and trick for the day from all of us here in the in our household at Beekeeping in Paradise, I want to remind you that no matter where you are in the world, if you have bees, you are definitely beekeeping in paradise. I'm glad you're with me. I'm glad you're part of this community. I do hope you subscribe and be well, be kind, be safe, and God bless. Wait, Dad, 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 Dad. What, 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 what? You should do a blooper thing at every end of the video. I guess I messed up a lot, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>
Take care.